Hello world, this is part 2 of learning HTML. Now, this episode 2, we're going to be learning how to install the software to do HTML, right? So all you have to do is go to Google and search Notepad++. Once you get to Notepad++, you go make sure it's Notepad++ and you download. When you get to here, you pick the version 8.69. And all you have to do is go down and press download. Now you should see over here it's downloading. Now it's completed. You click on that and you wait. And as you can see, it brought this up. Now you can put a cross over here because we're not needing it. Now you select the language which you want. Now you press next. Agree. Next. Next. And you want to create a shortcut on the desktop and install. So right now it's going to install the software for you to code in HTML and CSS. Now that it's complete, you press finish. And there we go. Now we don't want all this over here because we're starting from scratch. You go to file and you go to new. We are in the new tab. So now we can change tabs. But... We want to just like close all the other ones that we're not using. So we're just going to close it and we just want the new one. Now we need to name this file that we are going to be working with throughout this semester, right? So first of all, you cannot save this file now until you write something down. So firstly, you can change the layout of how you like it. So settings, preferences, dark mode. So if we like it like light mode, it'll be light mode. If you want it, like I like it dark mode, so I'll leave it as dark mode. Right? It will be on light mode when you install it, but I like it dark mode. Anyway, anytime you start an HTML, right, you need to start with something called this. So you put an exclamation mark and in all caps, capital letters, doc type. Now, just to notice, um, this coding is not case sensitive, so it doesn't matter where you put capital letters or not, it'll still work. But everyone agrees that this doc type should be in capital letters. Okay, and we put a closing. Now, just to make note, this whole thing is called a tag. So this is called a tag, right? This whole thing. Now, once we're done with this, you want to go to save. Press save. Now, the file name is very important because if your name is incorrect, it will be wrong. I want you all to name this this. Index dot. But wait, I want you to write index 100 dot html. Write index 100 dot html and I want you to save it. Now, I want you to go to this file you saved because we're going to run the code in a website. We need that file. So it should be under file explorer. And where you saved it, it should be there. Right? So we saved it under desktop and index 100. Open it up. And here we go. We are on our website. Now the website is obviously blank at the moment because we have no code on it. So let's go back to our notepad plus plus. Okay, we over here. Uh, let me just make sure. Yeah, okay. This is our one, right? So let's code, right? 